Uh, hello, this is a, a video note about the status of NOAA nautical charts here at the last half of 2024. And uh, there's a lot changing at the end of the year. Primarily the traditional paper charts will all have been discontinued by that time. And so with those traditional paper charts gone, there's the issue of what happens with regard to chart requirements. Uh, for those commercial vessels requiring charts. And so this, uh, this video is a part of a series of uh, several, a couple maybe, that provide background to an article we've already published. And that article is here, Chart Requirements, and you can look at that if you want to, but that's, that's what I'm building up to, the issue of these uh, chart requirements uh, in the light of the uh, demise of the uh, traditional paper charts. And so um, let me, and then what I'm looking at here in the background of this discussion is what we call our portal or our get charts, sarpath.com slash get charts. And most of the links that we, uh, that I'm going to be using today are somewhere on this page. And this is, um, uh, this is a list of various resources for uh, nautical charts. And uh, it, the fact that things are changing, then this is a dynamic list, and so things we, we try to keep this up to date. So the main, uh, the main issue here is to remind everybody that the NOAA did, if you look down the side here, here's an article right here from 2019. Uh, you can click that article and read it. Uh, and just as it was presented uh, five years ago, that says they're going to replace all of the traditional paper charts with electronic navigational charts. Uh, in fact, revised re re what's called re-schemed versions of the electronic navigational charts, which is a s subject for maybe the next video or so. Uh, but uh, and also. A very important new concept in paper charts called NOAA NOAA custom charts. So the first thing is it's very important to realize that that is going to happen I'm that, and I want to actually demonstrate the status of that here uh, today uh, and um, they had we had at the time they made that announcement we had about 1100 nautical charts across u.s waters right now there are only uh, about no there's only 195 actually I just checked it there's only 195 charts left and every single one of those are marked a latest edition no excuse me last edition they have not been updated for months and they never will be all NOAA traditional paper charts are historic items at this point they are not the latest charting information available from NOAA that we have to get someplace else and that's what I want to talk about and the other let's see what's uh, I had like three things here the, the, okay that is on track second oh and I think I've already said that second we can replace those traditional paper charts with the NOAA custom charts and links to that are here and I th I'll show that more uh, th that's a very powerful tool these new charts and it doesn't take much to get used to using them uh, then the final thing that which I've already hinted to is NOAA is actually redoing the electronic navigational charts, ENCs. The ENCs have been in use since the mid-90s. Uh, and in fact, uh, the uh, commercial ships have been using them for years. In fact, commercial, large commercial ships, that's a key point here. Large commercial ships are required to use ECTUS and they are required to use ENC. They're required to use ENC, it's not an option. They can have a paper chart on the table if they want to, but they must have the ENCs, and the ENCs are the, then the, the, the official charts. So with regard to carriage requirements, the key issue is the smaller commercial vessels, uh, fishermen, uh, tour boats, uh, things like that. And also, for example, sailing instructor, navigation and sailboat instructors that are teaching courses on the water. That's a commercial vessel required to carry charts. So that's discussed in that article. So let's look at the status of these charts right now. And I think I'm going to start right here, link number one, and go there. And let's look at the uh, charts over here, paper charts. And note the black 
indicates that those charts are last edition. And as noted, last edition is last edition. They don't, they, they, they're not going to be updated anymore. And the example I chose here uh, to look at is Delaware Bay. So you could just go in here, Delaware Bay, uh, Delaware Bay, Delaware, and submit that. And then we go to Delaware Bay. And so here we are, we're, big, oh no, no, there's Delaware Bay up in the corner here. So here we already see one of the issues that's involved. There are, there's this chart, you see this guy, that, you, you click these charts and it highlights what's there. This is an ocean chart, one to a million something scale. This is actually also an ocean chart, uh, called general chart or something, one to 400, one to half a million or so. So in this area of Delaware Bay, where we really want to might really want to navigate, there are no practical scales of use there. So, and at this point, now again, I'll show you some tricks for getting around this. But at this point, we don't even know what the what the charts are that are there. We could, for example, go to this one. What's this one to four hundred? And say view it. We could view that chart and see that it's not going to be much help to us. Uh, and see, there's Delaware Bay here. And then we actually, now here, indirectly, we've learned what we want. We want chart 12304, which has been discontinued. And uh, you can find out various ways that that's been discontinued, but we see that it's just, it's just simply not there. If we go back to our resources, list of discontinued charts, or those soon to go, and what was it? Command F. No, yeah, Command F. I'm searching on this page. One, two, three, oh, four. Canceled on 8.30.23. 8.30.23, that chart was discontinued. So it doesn't exist anymore. However, if we go back, where was our link here? That now, again, and I'm going to get to a trick that makes it a lot quicker, but it doesn't hurt to keep in mind this basic approach here. Here... When NOAA discontinues the paper charts, the traditional paper charts, which I'm going to start in writing trying to abbreviate TPC, TPC, traditional paper charts, when they discontinue them, they do send a PDF, high res PDF of it to an archive, and we can access that. So you can always get a copy of the last edition of a chart. And here, I'm on this page. That was the first link on the top of our page where we looked at all the charts. Then you scroll to the bottom of this box and go to historic charts. And there's different ways to use this, but uh, one way is just go up here to place name and just say, uh, oh, I don't think it takes chart numbers. Uh, place name, D-E-L-A-W-A-R-E, -E Delaware Bay, let's see. Delaware Bay look up Delaware Bay and then I'm going to view results um, no it's still looking um, view results what did it find oh look one oh okay it found exactly what we want one two three oh four last edition and then here you can click this and get either a JPEG or a PDF of that. Now, I have that already downloaded. Let's see. La a t a traditional paper chart, last edition. Here's what that chart looked like. A a it's a PDF. It's a high-res PDF. Uh, minus, minus. You know, I can look at it and it's uh, it's just that what that chart looked like now we i haven't shown yet how we do this but we could make this or we can go and buy from someone that makes it for us we could buy it right now you could buy this you can buy a copy of this ready made or you can print it yourself back on our list of articles see this this let's let me um, let me just back up a minute if you wanted to print this chart yourself First of all, you get a note here. This chart is canceled and, and so forth. But if you zoom on that, let me just zoom in here a little bit. And then go to the bottom. Can I drag to the bottom? Uh, 
get to the bottom. Delaware Bay. Am I getting to the bottom of this thing? I want the... Okay, sorry. Just a minute. Okay, there you go. Here's what I wanted to see. You see, this chart here, this PDF, um, has this note that's canceled. No new additions. It's outdated. Its last update was... Well, it says here the last notice was 9-2-20... Uh, oh, that's at August. Uh, no, well, that's September. August 20, uh, 2023. But now if you wanted to print that, you could look, you, when you find, do your final printing, this line here should be exactly six inches. That's, a, that's right, I hope it says six. Yeah, six inches right here. And if you looked and did a right click on your, and looked at the, say, the properties of this PDF, you see... Its native size is 31 inches by 39.42 inches, and we can print that. If you look at our article on printing options, on the printing options, you would see that that's what, uh, that's called an ANSI E paper. It's one of the legal paper sizes that you can print uh, these charts on, uh, and uh, that would leave a little bit extra size, and um, and so, but that's a paper you would use. That's telling you the size. And then when you got it all done, this would be six inches if, if, in, if in fact you want the scale to be exactly what it's supposed to be. Now, I'm not, I've not done it yet. Let me, let me go back to this guy. Okay, he's there. Now, here is the chart that you can make yourself. Um, it's called the NOAA custom chart. And and, uh, and I am going to have a video on how you make that. And they look very similar, very similar. And you can do your navigation with this kind of chart. Again, that's a topic for another, another point. All right, but I'm going to almost stop here. Because I, but I do want to show beforehand a way that does pretty much all I've done just now, but rather quicker in a sense that you could go to... Oh, did I delete them all? Nautical charts online. No, here's one. If you go, okay, let me go back here. Um, nautical charts. Uh, list of dis print on demand paper sources. And then uh, let's see. NCC paper sources. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I got to that place. And I think I picked. Uh, I think I picked this one, and then it bounced me over to this one. Okay, so I just went to one of these. It turns out this one, that one I accidentally got to, has a very nice feature that I just want to point out. So if you go here and you just say, um, let's say you want nautical charts uh, uh, for the Atlantic, and then, uh, do, is there a place I can just type in a name? No, not yet. Um, but I do know, I do know that where Delaware Bay is somewhere. Oh, maybe that's it right there, even. Yeah, so what's this? Oh, yeah, okay, look, I clicked that and I got to 12304. Now, here's what this site does. Now, it could be others do it as well, but this is the first one I've seen to do it this way. And, and it, look, look at this. You can buy the traditional version, not updated. This is, and then I can actually click that, right? And I can view it and look at it and look at it. This is presumably the last edition chart. Let me go back. That's the last edition chart. And you could open two browsers and compare them. And this is in, now remember, the last edition chart has not been updated since uh, 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 it was what was it? The September of last year. Whereas these charts, this chart here, this is the NCC version of it, and you could get it. and And notice they were selling it for twenty seven dollars each. Plus, that would be on good paper, and uh, so uh, you can compare them to see. And this one will certainly meet your needs. And this chart is updated every day at you know, five o'clock Zulu five. Uh, so, okay, so you might, you might keep that in mind. That, that happens at 0500 uh, Greenwich Mean... Uh, <laughs> gosh, I date myself. Greenwich uh, 0500 UTC. 
0500 UTC. That's when these charts are updated, and they're updated every day. Now, if a new change comes into NOAA with this, or you know, the Coast Guard learns a new sounding, or something's wrong or moved or something, then they'll tell they'll tell NOAA, and then NOAA has to confirm it. You know, things like that. So that may take a while, a few days, uh, to confirm it. But once that chart once that change is confirmed and known it's up there in a day and every single day they can put up whatever they've learned over the past studies past weeks or days or so so uh, you can then update that chart now this chart when you buy it presumably will be today's chart anyway so that's the issue and so you have uh, you have the option here and these charts here's the punchline from that article I was telling you about that I linked that I pointed out right when I got started. That article shows you that these NCC charts right here, if you're a tour boat or a fishing boat or a, a navigation structure that needs to have official, you know, have Coast Guard approved charts on your boat, these NCCs made that are up to date at a proper size, like a real size chart at, a, at the right scale for good navigation, then they will meet the needs. They'll meet those requirements. And so, but then uh, also under certain, and, and you can also use the electronic versions, but there's conditions on that. So what I'm building up to is uh, cover all this background, and I'll carry on with this in part two.